At the NCPA this week, we released a first-of-its-kind interactive map that shows the status of natural gas and oil fracking bans, restrictions on hostile resolutions on a state-by-state basis. Already generating media interest, the unique map was developed by NCPA Executive Vice President and COO Jackie Pick and NCPA researchers. Bans on hydraulic fracturing, or fracking, to retrieve natural gas and oil are a threat to our country's economic recovery and superpower status. NCPA experts in the news this week include President and CEO Alan West's town hall column calling for the U.S. to quit trying to reestablish the Export-Import Bank and another of his commentaries about gun safety laws at CNS News. Senior fellow Pamela Villarreal's research about the ticking clock on Social Security disability funding was cited in the Washington Examiner and at Bankrate.com. To mark the 50th anniversary of Medicare, senior fellow Devin Herrick's townhall.com column outlines the program's unintended consequences. In Forbes, senior fellow John Graham called for medical regulatory reform. Also published this week was a report on the potential for rising oil prices from NCPA senior fellow R. David Ranson and from the nation's capital, legislative director Brian Williams has insight into the RAINS Act and the stealthy export import bank vote on Monday. The House of Representatives passed the RAINS Act this week, and like RAINS on a horse, the RAINS Act gives authority to Congress to stop major new regulations that hurt the economy and raise costs for hardworking families. The RAINS Act is an an idea, actually, that began several years ago from a group of reform-minded lawmakers. And these are the types of ideas that reduce government meddling in the economy and that Congress should be working on. These things like the frac map that we've been distributing around Capitol Hill and our other ideas to reform the tax code and replace Obamacare. However, all too often, Congress seems intent on passing bad economic ideas like the Export-Import Bank. This week, the Senate rammed through the Export-Import Bank reauthorization during a late night vote. They attached it as an amendment to the unrelated highway bill, while at the same time, they prohibited all other amendments. Now, fortunately, House leaders know bad economic policy when they see it, and they're not going to take up the Senate-passed highway bill with the Export-Import Bank Amendment. At least that's the case for now. Now, that issue may resurrect itself in September, so stay tuned for that. Your support is what makes all this work possible. Thank you from America's Think Tank.